everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm still feeling really sick. I've actually had like an inflammation in my chest for the last week. So if I start to cough or anything like that during this video, please excuse me, but you know why. Um, but anyways, the meaning for this video is because I just, I'm really excited because Anime North is coming in a couple weeks. And uh, I wanted to kind of show off my uh, progress so far when it comes to my uh, accessories for some of my costumes. So, without further ado, I have pretty much completed the Fiona sword, if I can get a good enough shot of it for you guys. I left some of it white so that it looks kind of like a glimmer. And on the top she has it so it kind of, it's like different, uh, it's hard to get it in this lighting, but she has like different, ugh, I can't get it, but okay, kind of. She has different shades of pink, so I tried to give it like a glimmer so it looks like it's kind of shining. And I don't think I'm going to add any more Mod Podge to it because I put like, I don't even know how many layers of Mod Podge this thing has, plus uh, like three layers of um, uh, paper mache and cardboard underneath it all. So it's pretty durable and it's also pretty big. Can't get the full uh, extent of it in this, but uh, yeah. And within the last couple of days, I've been working on my Sailor Moon uh, tiara, which it still isn't painted and it's I still need to file it down a tiny bit more, but it's pretty much done. And it's going to go underneath the, you can't really make out the ridges, but it has ridges, there you go, it has ridges, and it's going to have obviously the gem in the middle, and then it's, it looks a little bit wide, but it's going to be underneath my, it's going to be underneath my, um, my wig and everything, so you won't see it as much as it looks right now, and then it's going to be painted gold and everything with the, Ruby added to the middle, so I'm really excited about it. And believe it or not, my dad actually helped me do this because my dad's pretty artistic. He he surprises me. <laughs> I had no idea. I mean, I knew he was a good drawer, but I didn't know he could actually help with cosplay stuff. And he's actually getting into it, which is funny. Um, and then this is just a piece I'm really excited about because I just picked it up. Um, I probably won't be doing it until like next Anime North, like 2013. But I want to do Arietti from The Secret World of Arietti. And I finally found this huge clothespin. Like, I never would have thought I'd find a huge clothespin. But I'm going to, like, mod it and stuff. So it's going to be, like, the one she has in her hair. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really excited about Anime North. Um, the final pieces I have to do are just, I have to add felt to the top of the boots. The boots have, like, the V shape. And then I have to add the felt and then add, like, I have to file down the moons. I cut them out already. File down the moons and then paint them gold and then attach them to the boots and then maybe do little tiny moons for my for my uh, earrings. I don't know if I'm going to do the earrings or not yet. And then I just also bought, I forgot to bring it down, but I also just bought um, like a velvet type of strip that's like for a choker and then I'm going to add the other crescent moon for her choker. And I'm also still working on her scepter. I only have what I've posted so far, which is the crescent moon with the ball on t in the middle of it. Um, I put like six layers of Mod Podge to that, so it's really hard now. And then I still have to figure out the actual like scepter part that you hold. Um, I'm probably gonna use uh, cardboard from, I was gonna use a paper towel roll, but then it's kind of like fragile-ish because it's really hollow. So I might just use like one that's a little bit harder and firmer and like not as much of a uh, gap in the middle so I might use like something from tinfoil or something like a roll from tinfoil and uh yeah other than that I think I have pretty much everything I'm still figuring out whether I'm gonna do a last minute Ashley Graham from Resident Evil 4 but I don't know like I have an orange um turtleneck for Heather but that was extremely hard to find. I was literally looking for an orange turtleneck for over a year. Like, you can't, even if you go to Value Village or a secondhand store like that, it's still hard to find an orange turtleneck. Like, they're, I mean, they probably stopped making them, like, 15 years ago. So, um, I don't know why there aren't a lot of people rocking the orange uh, turtleneck, but I can't really blame them. But uh, the one I have for hers is a little bit baggy, so it works well underneath the vest that she wears, but I don't know if I want to wear it for 
Ashley, so I might just not, uh, you know, use do that. I might just wear my Pikachu costume or do something else. I don't know yet. Maybe do Sailor Moon again. I don't know. But anyways, regardless, I'm extremely excited and I can't wait. So I've said this like six months ago, but I'm going to say it again. If you see this face walking around the convention center in Mississauga during Anime North, come up and say hi because I like to meet people so much and I especially like to meet people on Tumblr and um, I, the, cosplay community be, the cosplay community has been fantastic so far. Like the people have been just so nice. So I'm looking forward to doing some like Sailor Scout photo shoots with some other people that I know there's always going to be Sailor Scouts there. And maybe I'll find a fin to my Fiona or a pyramid head to my Heather. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it guys and uh, hope to see you guys there. Bye!